Good morning guys. So we're just here picking up bones for what is going to be the second morning of our trip. Yesterday we got a bit lucky. They gave us two packs of bones and I see today again they, they've given us two packs of bones. Um, you need both these packs of bones because early on what we found yesterday was the ravens just uh, hammer those bones and by like half past eight when I was going to put the second lot out you know, most of the bones had been carried off already so getting two bags of bones is actually quite nice so yeah we're heading up now still dark looks like there's a little bit of mist around and it's quite cold two degrees in the car so, a bit of a fresh morning. But hopefully the mist adds you know, some nice moodiness to some of the shots. And we get up in time to get some good shots. So, we're up at the height. Absolutely glorious morning again, uh, but some mustiness behind us. So we got some nice pink colors on the hills yesterday. I don't know if we'll be able to get it again today. Just going to grab the bones and uh, put our first lot out. Feed the starlings who are already waiting. And then the ravens I'm sure will come in as well. So we have parked the car on the top, doesn't seem to bother the vultures too much, they still fly by and stuff, but uh, we didn't have any of the bearded vultures landing, um, so maybe what I'm going to do, uh, maybe tomorrow is we'll experiment with the car parked closer to the toilet which is down there. So I've got my gloves on, I'll be handling raw meat hey bra that's not for you
how's it guys um so it's just gone about half past 11 the winds got up again so we having some flybys but uh, you know they, we didn't have any bearded vulture land today uh, the jackal buzzard came in and was here literally less than 30 seconds and was gone again so he landed checked out a piece of meat and was gone and then uh, the cape vultures flew past but uh, no landings today so um, no landings on the cape vulture um, but um, otherwise a productive morning again a bit quieter than the first day uh, we got uh, maybe uh, about one 1000 shots instead of the 2000 we got yesterday but uh, you know still good nonetheless uh, a little bit later on the uh, start of the action today we had some nice uh, shots in the pink light yesterday and then uh, you know today uh, the vultures got up a bit later I think um, so now we're going to make our way back down to uh, camp and then maybe later we'll do some astro if the skies remain clear and then we'll get some chance to do some astro uh, maybe we'll try a protea setup but uh, let's see how it goes Hey guys, how's it going? So um, it's the afternoon of the second day. Um, we're going to take a walk down and try get, to get to the river uh, later and maybe do some location scouting. Uh, I think if we get down um, along the path, we saw some people doing some overnight hikes yesterday, um, but just sort of in that direction, there's a couple benches that look like they'll make for a good foreground for some astro later tonight. And the Milky Way or the tail end of the Milky Way um, falls directly above, above those, um, you know, the, the mountains and um, you can almost use the valley to frame the tail end of the Milky Way. Um, so uh, we're gonna just uh, take a walk down and scout, you know, how far it is to get there and then um, also, we'll, you know, check if it's uh, safe and, and all of that to shoot um, so that um, later in the evening, maybe, you know, after supper, after we've done with supper, we get out there and we take a few astro shots. Um, I've got my torch and PJ's got his light uh, headlamp so then, you know, we can walk safely. Um, and yeah, maybe get some, some good astro. At the moment, the clouds look, uh, you know, a bit uh, ominous and looks like you may, uh, you know, not get some uh, clear sky to get the stars. But uh, PJ's uh, checked um, a weather app just to see how much cloud cover is later on. And by eight o'clock, we should get um, about 1% um, cloud cover. So hopefully, you know, we've got clear skies and we can find a couple of compositions that work. And uh, yeah, then we'll add um, some of the astro um, to this video as well. And maybe I can start adding um, astro uh, in the winter as part of the Giant's Castle package that then gives uh, a little bit uh, more variety on the trips as well. So yeah, let's see how it goes. And uh, if it does go well, I'll post the results to the video.